is Joe Rogan right about Alex Perea and punching power? First, let's see what he thinks about Alex Perea. He is a truly exceptional striker with ridiculous power. When I say ridiculous power, I mean one punch, smash knockout power. Now, I actually think that he's right about that. Uh, I definitely think that Alex Prey is a good puncher. He's got pretty good technique. He uses a lot of really interesting striking techniques uh, and is able to generate a tremendous amount of power in very small sequences, very small spaces. Uh, now, watch this technique real quick. See how he slips to the front foot here? He's going to be uh, slipping that right hand. He's going to come back with the left hook here. Uh, boom. Brilliant shot. Knocks this guy clean, cold out. Uh, we're going to take a look at him doing a little bit of a drill here. And you can see him warming up and practicing. Slip to the front foot. Oh, okay. Slip to the front foot. Left hook. Slip to the front foot off the right hand. Left hook. And he's practicing that exact same punch. Okay. That exact same sequence. Again, we fight how we train. Okay. So how does he generate so much power with such little weight transition, movement, just explosiveness? Well, he's actually using some techniques that Bruce Lee used. And although I don't think that Bruce Lee was the best at articulating all of the things going on with his kinetic chain, um, as I've actually recently discovered a, a way to do it and teach it myself, uh, not only to teach you some very similar ideas to what Bruce Lee was trying to do with his one-inch punch, but also completely weaponize them so that not only can I teach you how to throw your best punches, but how to weaponize them as well. Now, uh, again, I think that he was using some very similar stuff, but let's go ahead and listen to what Joe Rogan thinks about punching power. Uh, There's a big one uh, in martial arts where it's power. <clears throat> power for striking is the strangest thing because you really can't, you can get people to hit a little harder. Mm -hmm. Like there's things you can do like cable drills. There's some explosive plyometrics that can increase your punching power and your kicking power a little bit, but not much. Not much where you're ever, no one's ever going to like mistake you for Melvin Manhoof or something like that. There's certain people that just have crazy power. And it's so weird. Like this. Now, he's about to start talking about Alex Perea. And again, the techniques that he's using. Uh, have a foundation in martial arts and what I call, uh, and, and they call in, in martial arts, structure. And having a correct structure and understanding how to correctly put together and use your kinetic chain is going to be one of the most important ideas in all of combat sports, in all of, of power punching. Okay, And if there are any breaks in your kinetic chain, you're going to have a massive drop in your ability to transfer weight from the previous pieces of the chain to your fist, okay? And uh, real quick, just a quick demo here. Very simple, straight left hand right there. Uh, a tremendous amount of power, very little amount of effort. And again, using very, very similar techniques, okay? And I believe anyone can use these types of techniques to generate power. Okay, now this is actually one of the most famous left hooks of all time, and we can see he's using a very similar technique to what uh, Alex Perea was using, um, and actually in my dynamic striking uh, Fouts Boxing Combat System, which you can find the link in the description, I will teach you how to do all of this stuff. I will teach you exactly how Alex Perea generates so much power with his punches, how he can move so little and generate so much power. Again, just like in those clips, very, very simple. Anyone can learn, okay? Anyone, 100%. And one of the biggest problems is, in the, the pieces that I've solved is the, well, I'm not gonna tell you the secret, but the way to use your kinetic chain and to make sure that you get all of your pieces of your kinetic chain involved, um, including teaching you pieces that you didn't expect would be involved, okay? And it's really, really interesting. Um, and again, I have completely solved punching power, okay? I can teach anyone how to get on the line here and throw a giant left hook worthy of knocking out Gene Fulmer, okay? I can teach anyone, male or female, how to correctly use their kinetic chain to generate maximum force 
and then teach you how to turn that into a fighting style. I'll teach you how to weaponize your best punch. And then I will teach you how to improve your best punch. Okay? Full stop everything you need to know about how punching power works and how to deliver your power in a real fight against a real person to your opponent's face. Okay? Now, Bruce Lee taught the one-inch punch, but I'm going to be teaching you one-inch hooks and one-inch overhand rights and one-inch one, one inch hooks to the body, one-inch uppercuts, one-inch... I know it doesn't really look like one-inch, but very short, straight right hands that have tremendous amounts of power. Tremendous amounts of power in your overhand shots as well as your left hooks here. Look at me closing my eyes like a scrub. <laughs> but Joe Rogan says that some people, that it cannot be taught. You can only teach a little bit. You can only increase punching power a little bit. And my, my goal is to show you that not only is that not true, but show you that if you work hard, that I can teach you how to be within the top 5%, I want to say 1% of all punchers of all time, okay? The techniques that I have to share in these videos, again, check them out on Dynamic Striking. Check out the reviews, okay? They're going to change punching power forever, okay? Making it a child's plaything. Anyone can learn how to punch hard. Okay? Anyone can increase their punching power. So check it out. Again, there are no more mysteries in martial arts like Joe Rogan suggests. I've solved them all. Okay? Um, yeah. Thanks, guys.